Hey guys, I am back with another history bits. And I have a special guest today. My brother. <laughs> I don't know if y'all follow his YouTube channel. He's a, uh, what is your YouTube channel, Mikey? Corvair Mike. <laughs> yeah, Corvair Mike. He posts stuff about cars and such. So today we are at Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park. And I thought I would just kind of walk around and show you guys this historic place. So, Mikey's gonna go put his pass on his truck um, so we can film this. So, for those of you that don't know about the Battle of Kennesaw Mountain, um, it was one of the battles that was fought during when Sherman was uh, doing his march to the sea. And this was one of the, I guess, things that was, in a way, kind of stopping him from doing his march. But, um, in a way, it wasn't successful. Um, so, technically, this battle was a... Union loss and a Confederate victory, but it was a Confederate loss in the sense that it didn't stop Sherman in his advance to um, the sea. So yeah, just kind of want to walk around and show you guys some things. And here comes Michael. <laughs> and this is the battlefield over here, if you're wondering. This is part of the battlefield. That's the visitor center. So yeah, I'm gonna go try and find the tomb of the unknown soldier that is here and show you guys that. Oh, this is a long hike. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Confederate picket post. So this is a, one of their rifle pits. And I think in the museum they actually have some of the old rifles which we will go in later so yeah we're trying to find the tomb of the unknown soldier and if we can't find that i'm going to take you guys to the georgia monument so there's the confederate con confederate i can't speak today shut up mikey it says rifle pits the confederates prevented their main in uh, confederates to prevent the main infantry line higher up the mountains from being surprised, dug a series of rifle pits here across the base of the mountain. Fighting from these pits in the 1st Alabama, Alabama Regiment re repelled the Union Fent attack. I think that's how you say that. Don't quote me on it. Against the Confederate right flank, this attack was devised by Sherman to divert attention away from the two main Union attacks aimed at the Confederate center. Alright, so we're going to hike up this massive hill. This is an understatement. I didn't realize it was this massive, but hopefully we can find it. We'll get back to you on that. So I'm in the museum now. I'm trying to kind of be quiet because there's people in here, but this is some of the display. What, Mikey? What you want? <laughs> there's General Sherman. That's Major General George H. Thomas, Commander, Army of the Army of the Cumberland is what that says. So that's him right there. That is Oh, come on camera, focus. Focus. Well, I'm just gonna read that's Major General James Brown McPherson. He was the arm the commander of the Army of Tennessee. And ooh, there we go. Adjust camera. That's Major General John M. Schofield, I think it's his name. I could be pronouncing that. I could be completely butchering that, and I apologize. But yeah, so these, whoop. These were all involved in the Battle of Kennesaw. And this is here some weapons that were used. Confederate money. I actually have a Confederate dollar at home and there's me in the glass hi and 
of course, like I always do with these, I will put links in the description that talk about all of these things because Lord knows I can't fit all of it in one video. <laughs> and these were some flags. And this, of course, was the type of weapon that was used in the Civil War. Everybody knows, of course, bayonets will go on the tip of the gun. And, of course, once they ran out of bullets, well, not necessarily when they ran out, but when they get in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they could use that. And those are Civil War bullets. And these guns are actually heavy. They actually have one at... um. The, Mar the Kennesaw House in Marietta, and they are heavy, which I'm hoping I'm gonna do a video on that sometime soon. So yeah, this place is really interesting. Like, I recommend if you are ever in Georgia, you know, to come to Kennesaw Mountain. It is a really interesting place. That, and I'm also, a, if you're a history nerd like me, you'll enjoy places like this. And these are just like all I kind of wish you couldn't see my reflection in the glass but oh well <laughs> like it's a lot of information like if I were to take all of this just on this wall here and just all throughout. It'd be a daggum movie. And of course there's a cannon. There's Sherman on his horse. And I believe that's one of his quotes, war is cruelty and you cannot refine it. And this is they who fought here. Hey, this is the red is Confederate, and then of course the blue is Union. I think I wonder if these are these the people that died here, maybe. I don't think they died. I think it was just like a crit. They play like a critical role. Yeah, I think they did. Said Private Albert Hirsch. 60th Ohio Battery is torn to pieces by a rebel shell on June 18th. His comrades bury him where he falls. Wow. Like I said, it's just this is just a really interesting place. There's a lot of... Wait, is that the... This looks like the Kennesaw House. I don't think that is. I think it's... It just looks like it. I don't think it is. Marietta and Ruins. Fun fact about the Kennesaw House, actually. Kennesaw House was actually saved during Sherman's march because the guy that owned it at the time was a Union sympathizer. So that is why the Kennesaw House was spared when Sherman was going through here and or his march to the sea. So yeah, this place is awesome. I could spend all day in here because I'm a, I'm a history nerd and I have everything to war at my house. So yeah. So, um, me and my brother are going to go get something to drink and something to eat. And we're going to try and go to the Georgia Monument. Because uh, we found out that the um, Tomb of Unknown Soldiers over by the Illinois Monument, which is at Cheatham Hill. I'm going to do a completely different video on Cheatham Hill. Um, or Cheatham, I don't know, I could be saying it wrong. I know, correct me in the comments. But um, that is where the Tomb of Unknown Soldiers is at. But we are going to go to the Georgia Monument, so... We will see you in a bit after we 
get our drinks and maybe a snack. All right, we finally made it to the Georgia Monument. This thing is huge. It says, Georgia Confederate soldiers, we sleep here in obedience to law. When duty called, we came. When, co when country called, we died. So this is a huge monument. I mean, that is just, wow. All right, so now I think we're going to go and drive up the mountain because I want to get some views from up there. So yeah, and this is the battlefield, or part of the battlefield down here. And there's Mikey eating his Nikos. <laughs> Sitting there stuffing his face with sugar. Like we need sugar. All right, so I'm gonna see y'all in a bit. We're gonna go drive up the mountain. It's hot, we wanna get in the air conditioning and my brother's truck has really good air conditioning, don't it? Yep. <laughs> so yeah, all right, I'll see you guys in just a minute. And I know this is probably like really, this is an awkward angle for me to film. <laughs> one more, one last look at the battlefield. All right, ooh. <laughs> if I can not fall flat on my face. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Look at that view. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that water tower right there. Not too far from where that water tower is where I take my acting classes. Huh? I thought that's kind of funny. Yeah, this is the view at the top of the mountain. Do it again. <laughs> Yeah, my camera's cutting off. So yeah, that's pretty much Kennesaw Mountain. Like I said, I'm gonna put links down in the description to you know to kind of show like the whole history of it because like I said, there's so much of it. And I'm the type of person if I were to sit here and tell y'all everything, it'd be a daggum three, four hour movie. But anyways, yeah. So we're gonna head to the Marietta Square, and we'll see y'all in a little bit. And oh, before I go. I'll show you. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's a cannon up there. And I do not feel like walking up there because you girl out of shape and I'm winded. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I am at the square now. Mikey went ahead and went to his favorite, like, soda pop store he loves to go to. And passing an old train. And I don't know if you can see it right over here was the Kennesaw house I was talking about earlier. Unfortunately, I can't go inside because they are closed. Because me and Mikey did get a late start today because I had to take one of the dogs to the vet. So I had to wait till after his appointment to go do stuff. But I'm going to go get closer over here. Boop, boop, be -doop, be -doop, be -doop. Gotta walk over some train tracks. We're actually under a heat advisor here in Georgia, so yay for us. And another interesting story that I love about the Kennesaw House, I don't know if, how many of you have ever heard of that film, uh, The Great Locomotive Chase. It had Buster Keaton in it, and I think it had a couple other people, but yeah, um, the guy's name was Andrew. I cannot remember his last name for the life of me at the moment. But um, he actually stayed here the night before he stole the general, which was the locomotive. So yeah, this is the Kennesaw house. And I believe his room is right, somewhere on the top here was his Andrew's room. They actually have a room that's dedicated to him up there. And then, of course, we got the plaque right here. A 
the, this talks about the the locomotive, the general on here. And I believe that guy right there, Dick Dick Fletcher, I think was the guy that owned the house at the time during Sherman's March. And like I stated back at Kennesaw Mountain, it was spared because he was uh, secretly a Union sympathizer. So. Yeah, so hopefully one day I could come in here. I've been in here before. It's awesome. So hopefully on a day, another day, I will do sort of like a part two and I'll take you guys in there. So now I think that's pretty much going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy and I hope you subscribe. I'm going to hopefully start doing more of these. So yeah, y'all have a good one and I love you guys. Oh yeah, and also before I go, I made a promise that I would also link my brother's YouTube channel to um, or in my description he does car type stuff and I'm hopefully gonna have his um, newest video up here soon because I help I edit his videos for him um, he did this really cool thing it's called the hot rod power tour him and my dad did it so I will try to have that video up sorry about traffic it's really loud over here trying to talk as loud as I possibly can so yeah guys that's it for today I hope y'all enjoy this video I know it's not much but hey it's something love you guys